How relieved are you to have got that through in, in two sets? Because that could have been a very, very tough round. You know, I have not been, mm. like, uh, worrying about two sets, three sets, you know, and I just feel great, you know, because I've been fighting for every ball, and if she managed to win one of the sets and then we go for third, I would still be fighting and still playing every ball. If she manages to win me, I would say great job, but I, I, it doesn't change my um, attempt in the match. Sveta, did that feel that looked like you in full flow? Like you were serving great, you could put the ball wherever you wanted to. What's, is that what it felt like out there for you? Well, except that serve on 6 5 uh, <laughs> or whatever it was, wait, 6 4 and the tiebreaker with that double fold and a couple forehands which I shouldn't be missing, but the rest I felt great. I, I felt like I was just giving all I had in me there and that's what I work for, you know, that moments which really matters, you know. Thinking ahead now, you've got um, Elena Vesnina, an all-Russian final, probably for a long time. What are your thoughts on, and have you caught how she's been playing this week? Uh, I haven't been watching any of women's tennis. <laughs> not, not for not respecting, I love to watch women's tennis, but uh, i just been on some, like, Low routine, I've been just chilling in the house, watching some great doubles, actually men's doubles matches. <laughs> and that's what was on the TV and some men's great matches. Um, I have not and I have to <coughs> talk to Carlos about the game plan. I haven't been thinking about it. So just out of curiosity, which men's doubles did you watch? I watched Novak's matches, the one that won the tiebreaker, then I was Nick Kyrgios doubles. <coughs> Uh, then I watched <coughs> Rafa's doubles. Yeah, I thought it was amazing field for doubles here. Actually, even maybe better than, than singles. Did so. you happen to see Kyrgios beat the Bryans? Yes, that, that one. Okay. Yeah, that Just, was sick. Yeah, yeah, I did watch that. So have you, how have you felt kind of going match to match? Do you feel like each match has been better uh, here at this tournament? Yes. Okay, so each one has been... For sure, yeah. I didn't have quite the best preparation back in Moscow to come here. But uh, my goal was like, I was saying to Carlos, you know, I'm the most important thing is I feel fresh. I feel fresh in my mind. So that that's what I didn't feel in Australia. I was a little bit burned up. So I came here, I said, I know, I'm, maybe I'm not my best, but I feel great. So, and I was playing match by match. First match, I had so much ups and downs and first match, second one better, third one, and every match I was getting there. And here we are in the finals. I think it's great. The other day you mentioned I know two more hours on the practice court isn't going to dramatically change my outcome in the next mm -hmm. match. So looking to the final, how will you prepare and maybe also maybe give yourself some rest time? Yeah, but that's that's a point. Like tomorrow I will wake up and I will see how I feel. It's not something I will plan today what I'm going to do tomorrow. And like I wake up, I see how I feel. And if I feel like playing a lot, I will play a lot. If not, probably I'll just go out there and hit. Mm, maybe one hour or so, so it, whatever my body feels, you know, I, I got to listen to it. I'm not twenties, but now they say thirties is in the, <laughs> in the style, right? And does, it, does it surprise you? You've only played Elena twice in your careers. It's been a while. I think Estoril was the last one, you know, you're both Russian, you're both, you know, older players, just two matches. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Sometimes it happens, you know, like I played Ekaterina <laughs> Makarova way too many times, <laughs> but somehow we didn't play with Elena, so, and I actually didn't face her much in doubles either, so it's strange, but yeah, here we go. You practice with her ever? Uh, not a lot, but sometimes we did, yeah. Christina was saying that uh, she's really enjoyed playing doubles with you and how it's helped her singles game. Uh, I was just wondering how you feel about... How did it help her singles game? Should I get percentage or something? Well, yeah, we, she, well, <laughs> she was throwing in like serving volleys against uh, Wozniacki j just after... She didn't do it in doubles though. <laughs> that was not coming from doubles. Well, she felt very bad about letting you down so that you, were, you two weren't, being, uh, weren't together in the final. But do, do you feel that over the years that's helped you? in your singles, or does it make no difference to you? I've been trying to play um, along my career m many times doubles. Like, I started playing actually better in doubles with Martina, then I started to, to focus on my singles, and it went well, then I played doubles and singles when I played this, when I won the US Open and played finals in doubles, and I've had many finals in Grand Slams. I managed to, won, to win only two, and lately, a couple of years, I've 
was not motivated to play doubles. Even my coach was pushing me, you know, you gotta play. Many players ask me, let's play, let's play. And when I go on the court, I kind of didn't feel it, you know, so I rather not do it, you know. If I don't uh, feel um, motivated to play, active, doing my best in the court, I rather not do it. And Christina asked me, and I thought I should play doubles here as I skipped Doha, Dubai due to my injury. Uh, I thought I should give it a shot. And since first match, we kind of connected and I felt great. You know, I was for second match, I was so pumped. I was, come on, come on, let's try to win. And I, I felt amazing. So like this, I don't mind playing doubles. Like this, I love to do it. And we connect on the court really nicely. So hopefully it will go the same way. I think we have good potential. Talk through the matchup with Elena. I mean, do you want, I mean, how familiar, I guess, are you with her game since you haven't played against that much you haven't watched her here you know i really trust my coach so i'll ask him about it but she plays pretty flat aggressive tennis so that's it i play more defense but my spin is my key probably you prefer for that match to be i mean it's going to be during the day but uh does your game on these courts in these conditions is it better more, during the day right okay. yes <laughs> so um i was in washington when you won was that 2015 20 Yes. So many years, I, I okay, kind no, of but, lost track of it. Okay, yeah. most recently, though, because it was your first title in a while and your first yeah. big title, in, you know, big, yeah. bigger <coughs> a while. I'm just curious, like, did that, what does it do for you when you win a title, when it's been, you know, when it's, when it's been a while? How does that affect your confidence and... I mean, overall, I, I thought over the years why I've been, I have not been like to top 15 or top uh, 10 is because I have not been winning these key matches. As long as you start to win the tournaments, that's different confidence. This, you're ready to be in top 15, top 10 because this is what brings because I know how to play the game. I don't have to prove nothing to nobody. And I just have to catch that that uh, momentum of confidence and then I, it goes like with the flow, winning matches to be confident during the match. So it changes a lot. You talked about being mentally fresh going into this tournament. So, I mean, how it, was that a tough decision after, you know, you had the injury and everything and you said you didn't come in <coughs> with the most preparation, but your mind was rested. I mean, is that a tough decision to make to kind of be like, okay, well, we're going to go and see, you know, kind of what happens? What were your expectations here? You know, um, it's hard decision, like I still always, even when I'm injured, I still was trying to go and play. And I did so many weeks, like I was not at my best play, not body ways, not mentally ways. It's really hard, the seasons are really long. And then I figured myself that I'm not there. So I wanted to try something new, you know, I said I'm 31, I, I have to take some, some decisions, important ones. So I was really clear on that one and then was coming here. I was looking forward to go. When you stay, when you travel week by week, and then you go back home, and you have to go on the road, and like no way, well, I have to pack again, and it's really heavy. This is when it doesn't work. I know with our schedule, it's really tough to make these decisions and to skip tournaments, but sometimes you gotta do that. Any more questions? Did you think that ball hit the umpire? Oh, I just watched it. Yeah, it hit her shoulder. It was <laughs> horrible, though. So what, are you gonna, what are you going to do tomorrow? Are you going to watch uh, any of the men's? Are you going to relax? Are you going to light practice? Yeah, i got to wake up. i got to eat, yeah. which is very important. Uh, then uh, i got to train, for sure. I, I love to train in the morning. That's you done with the day. Then I'll go to supermarket to buy some food for the house because we stay in the house here. And then I'll watch the men's games for sure. I love to watch it or, or some movies. Yeah, sorry. It's Eloise's last press conference. I know. Do you have any um, stories <laughs> 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 you could share that we could put on a transcript? 
Yeah. I'm not sure. She won't have a single one. I've been such an angel. <laughs> she, she was, yes. Yeah. Yeah. She, she was, yeah. And it's really sad. Like, she just said, you know, like one last winning player, I have my press conference and I like to be the last and to say goodbye. I hate this thing. So I just wish you all the best and we'll be seeing you in Wimbledon. I Thank think they're lucky to have you. So you're so great person. Thank you. I was going to say player, but. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a great player. <laughs> Thank you.